The war has had a devastating impact on the lives and futures of Ukraine's 5.7 million school-aged children. With that in mind, let's bring in Margarita Boyko, a school teacher in Odessa. Margarita, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Um, I understand, Margarita, you made the decision ultimately to flee uh, Mykolaiv. Uh, what made you take that decision? So the first thing I was staying in Mykolaiv uh, during the first months, our school were stopped, uh, our students were at home. But uh, in a month, I've made such a decision because one of my friends uh, told me whose husband was on the front line that Mykolaiv can be the second Mariupol when they go towards when they would go to towards uh, Kherson when they want to to free Kherson. And I decided to save the life of my son. That is why I've made a decision to leave Ukraine. And we came to Romania. So you came to Romania with, with your 15-year-old son, your husband you left behind. Yeah, my husband left behind with his, with his old and uh, ill mother. He couldn't have any chance to to leave Ukraine, and I had to choose between my husband, my family, my parents, and my son. I had to save the life of my son. How do you, how do you come to terms with having to make a decision like that? Um, uh, the only the only thing that I was thinking about, I don't want my son to be hungry, to be thirsty, to be afraid of everything, because the bombing uh, was very hard. Each night were, was a bombing, and I don't want him to sit in the bomb shelters. I I, I don't want to may to. Um, I, I want to save his life. Mm. What's become of your home, do you know? Sorry? What has become of your home, do you know? Yeah, it was Romania. We left uh, to Romania. And uh, people there helped us very much. But we left Ukraine only with winter clothes, only winter clothes and two mobile phones. That's all. Now, tell us about the, the impact that this war has had on your students. Have you been able to continue to educate them? So the first month we stopped educating, but in the months uh, we decided to continue educating. It was online, like like uh, right now. And uh, the most of my students left Mykolaiv um, and the pupils who stayed there, uh, it was only two pupils uh, from 37 of my class. Um, they stayed in Mykolaiv and I know one story that one of my pupils, one of my pupil um, slept under the bed while bombing because they bombed Mykolaiv during four months each uh, night. And one night it was 27 uh, bombs which were pulled uh, towards Mykolaiv. It's, it's completely understandable, given what you say about your home, that parents and caregivers would be very nervous about children going to school. Um, do you have any hopes of things returning to normal, of being able to teach your pupils again face to face, of going back to Ukraine? Of course, uh, we are we are waiting. By the way, uh, our government support us um, in uh, in different areas. So the first, they gave teachers laptops to uh, to give the chance to work online. Then they give our students uh, uh, who needed it the la the tablets, and also the all the time during the wars they paid us us salary. Uh, and by the way, as for my school, uh, we bought uh, the uh, generator and our headmaster uh, prepares uh, bomb shelters because we cannot start um, educating without bomb shelters. And uh, also, and also, sorry, and also they uh, made uh, pips to have clear water for school. That's why uh, our our headmaster and our government 
does everything to start uh, our education uh, offline online margarita very 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 briefly how is your husband uh, he is okay and by the way i want to i, I remember one uh, one awful fact every morning in romania i woke up uh reading his was reading his message a uh, morning i am alive morning i am alive each morning i wrote such message message after a bombing goodness uh, margarita um i'm almost in tears here thank you so much um for your time and your contributions today i hope it goes well with your students and with your family thank you thank you too and we will have more on Ukraine a little bit later on in the program. Of course, there's plenty more detail on our website, including lots of explainers. Do just head to bbc.com forward slash news, or you can, of course, go to the BBC News app.